Welcome CSE 121, Programming 1 for Fall 2020. This is your third challenge. This is going to be your for and while loop challenge. And we're going to use something we used in the past, a password input. So you already did that. So this may seem really simple, but it's not always as simple as you think. And let me just show you the finished product. We're going to enter a password. Now, the password, don't tell anybody, is going to be Python lowercase. You could use more if you want to use uppercase or caps or any of that, but you could just use lowercase Python as your password. So I'm going to type in Python lowercase, and when I hit enter, it says welcome. So if I'm correct, it says welcome and the code is done. And I'm going to run it again, and this time I'm going to get it wrong the first time, and I'm going to hit enter, and it says incorrect, try again. And then it's giving me another prompt to enter the password. So this time, if I put in Python and I hit enter, it says welcome. So I'll run it again, last time. What's going to happen now, I'm going to forget the password. One try, I get it wrong. Second try, I get it wrong. Third try, I get it wrong. Three incorrect tries locked out, and it doesn't give me any more inputs. So it's only giving me three attempts. So here's your instructions here. You're going to use a for loop that runs three times. And I'll tell you right off the bat, all your code is going to be inside the for loop, including the input prompt, all but the counter. And I'm giving you a little hint here. Now, if the password input is correct, it's going to say welcome, and it'll also break the loop. That's a hint, break the loop. And if it's incorrect, it's going to say incorrect, try again, and you're going to get another attempt, at least as long as the attempts aren't at three yet, to try again. And once you have three attempts and they're all wrong, it's going to say three incorrect tries locked out. Now, in order to keep track of these, here's a hint, you're going to have to use a counter. And the counter will be the only thing that will be outside your loop. You're going to want to increment your counter inside the loop so you know how many tries you're at. And again, we're going to run this all in a for loop. Your counter will be outside the for loop and see how that goes. And then after you're done, you're going to make another one that uses a while loop just so you could show how you use a while loop. Now when you start this off, you're going to make a new file in your CS121 directory called ch3-password-4.py. That'll be one of your files. And then the next file that you make is going to be ch3-password-while.py. And you should be able to do a save as and save your password for as password while because it's going to be a lot of the same code other than the while header in the while loop is going to change a little bit. So they should work very much in the same way, the for loop and the while loop. But it'll give you kind of insight into the subtle differences between a while loop and a for loop. You could see how a while loop can sometimes do the same thing as a for loop but a for loop can't always do what a while loop can do. So it's just a little bit of challenge practice. It's just one exercise called challenge three, and you're gonna have two files, one with a for loop, one with a while loop, just making sure that you could put in a password. If you get it right, it'll say welcome. If you get it wrong, it'll try again. If you have three missed attempts, it'll say three incorrect tries locked out. So that's your challenge, and you're gonna create your files in your CSC 121 directory in Python Anywhere, like you've been doing. Again, ignore this here. I'm just in another file where I was trying things out. So that's your challenge. I'll have some more for you this week, but I just want to use this as a review and make sure that you read through and you did the exercises for the for and while loop and watch some of those videos as well.